Hi everyone, Johnny here working on my film study skills and today we are looking at the Islam Makhachev vs Tiago Moises fight from the UFC. Although touted as the next Khabib, Islam has been developing his own style which he showcased with great success in this fight. The first element worth noting is how defensively responsible Makhachev has become. There are three layers to his defense and he demonstrated great discipline in maintaining these throughout this fight. The first layer is distance and position with Makashev maintaining good cage control and utilizing his lead hand as a probe, creating a buffer to make smarter defensive or offensive decisions. In this sequence, when the lead hand probe is not met by Moises, Makashev is on high alert and the buffer created allows him to disengage, nullifying Tiago's initiation. I also covered the lead hand fight from open stances in my Cyril Garn vs Alexander Volkov film study, so check out that study for extra details on the hand fight. Islam uses his lead hand to gauge distance, establish tempo, and generate reactions. In addition to this, it also forms the second layer of his defense should his distance control not be sufficient. Defensively, the lead hand can be a frame to control distance, however as with all techniques may be countered if utilized too often. The second layer of Makashev's defense is activated when the distance can't be controlled and the lead hand is then in play to parry the opponent's attacks. In this next sequence, Moises breaches the distance by throwing a rear round kick on tempo. Having bypassed the first two layers of Makashev's defense, the kick is blocked by Makashev's defensive structure. The subsequent attacks are parried by Makashev's lead hand or second layer of defense, and he resets the exchange with movement, reinstating his first defensive layer of distance and position. The third layer of defense in the physical sense is structure, utilizing blocks or checks to mitigate damage. That said, a key component of being defensively responsible is being respectful of your opponent's shots. In this sequence, the damage from Moises' offense was mitigated, and to maintain this disciplined mindset shows patience and maturity in Makachev's style. In the clinch positions, Makachev inhibits his opponent's ability to score through great positioning and a deep understanding of cage wrestling concepts. Check out my Shuya Kamakubo vs Mitchell Chamali film study for further insights on the cage wrestling topic. A technically strong defense is frustrating to come across as when someone is making less mistakes and scoring the rounds, the pressure comes on the opponent to attempt riskier offense to turn the tide. Makashev complements his responsible defense with offense built off the lead hand. I always try not to focus on too many elements in my film studies, so here are a few examples. If you haven't already seen this fight, make sure you check it out as there are so many other great study topics that I didn't cover in this film study. Makashev displayed a great ability to establish tempo with the use of his lead hand. Firing off tempo once rhythm is established is a great way to initiate attacks. Another option is to draw a defensive reaction out of your opponent and Makashev does a great job of getting his opponent to react and to capitalize on it. If he misses an opportunity, he will try and draw the same reaction again to capitalize on it. When the opponent chases, fighting off the back foot is another great way to generate offensive options. I hope you've enjoyed this film study on responsible defense. I always like to focus on the elements that I think can lead to higher percentage outcomes and that's not to take away from the great grappling in this fight as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join me as I continue to work on my film study skills. Thanks for watching.